to Good Morning Law Land. It's all about Manifestation Monday. We're debating how to manifest vitality. And we have Juliet Mitchell. She is a pure girl in a toxic world, cancer survivor, organic living expert, author, and mom. So nice to meet you. Thank you so much. So great to be here. Thank you. We're so excited to honor you and all the work you've done, especially with this book, Cancer, We've Got This. It's so empowering because there really isn't any other short form reads besides a few pamphlets you could pick up at your doctor's office right. about the experience of actually having cancer. So tell us about this book. So this book, when I was diagnosed with cancer, there was like these journals that were this big. And I was like so emotionally overwhelmed, right? I mean, how do you schedule surgery? How do you schedule chemo right. how do you do all that in your I was going through a divorce the day I found out I had cancer I found out I was getting divorced oh, wow. so I was so overwhelmed and I wanted some information but it was so confusing so that's what led me to make this book because mm. I wanted to give clear concise 50 do's 50 don'ts so that when someone got diagnosed they could just go to this book and have an easy read Wow. So let's back it up into obviously, you know, there's many causes of cancer. We don't know exactly all sure. that they are, but we do know that cleansing the body and purifying the body helps, you know, its ability right. to do whatever it's naturally going to do. Right. You know, from my belief system as a doctor of divinity, I believe that if we cleanse the body and give the right nutrition that we can create and heal all things other than of course we do age at, at this point in time. Sure. But so tell us about how you cleanse your pure girl in a toxic world. What does that look like? How do you how do you be pure in a toxic world? <laughs> <laughs> so we were just talking about this before I uh, went to commercial. <laughs> and, um, so I have learned that prior to cancer, I was not getting proper nutrition. Mm -hmm. That wasn't in my whole thing. Or my cosmetics. Any of the beauty routine that I did was very toxic. So it was like going through my whole life and looking at everything, not just my diet, but like, I lived on a golf course and there was five women at the same time that had cancer during wow. the time that I did. Wow. So I went into like an Aaron Brockovich mode kind of thing. And I found out it was the chemicals that they were spraying on the golf course that was getting like on our rooftops. Hence, and oh they just God. won the lawsuit. What was that, a few days back? The Over, pesticides. Yeah, the oh, pesticides. Oh, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, huge, yeah, huge. yeah, Roundup. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. So, um, yeah, so that was the first tip that something, you know, I needed to change. So I put the house up on the market, of course, and all that. But um, so I just went into this big study um, to finding out everything that I could on the C word. And I came up with a lot. <laughs> and one was that the body needs nutrition to fight illnesses. What All kinds. Uh, mm -hmm. And what nutrition weren't you getting that you now get? Oh my God, I'm embarrassed to say so. But I was like, you know what? Let's go through McDonald's. Let's, you know, 99 cent store. Okay. Of course. <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, just, I was not one of those people that, you know, I was healthy. It didn't bother me. I don't need to eat. I well, hated vegetables. You know, so many times too, if you, you're like, hey, I look good. So I must be doing something well, right. I was a workout queen. So when I got cancer, people were like, how do you have cancer? If I eat like this and you look like that, how, how does that happen? But actually a super, um, a lot of women that are, you know, fitness women mm -hmm. have a very high cancer rate. It has something to do with the cells and the way that their diets are, it actually contracts cells, which makes them more susceptible to cancer. Mm -hmm. So you were also going through a divorce, so I'm sure you were going through Stress, emotional stuff yeah. also. So how much do you think, I mean, obviously, I'm sure we have to eat somewhat healthy. I'm a true believer in aligning with, with mother nature, but right. I'm an advocate. If you, if you were gonna like, you know, balance them out, like what's more worse for you, being completely upset in a rage or having a candy bar? Hmm, hard to figure that one out. Seems like emotions are playing to our health even more so. How much for you do you feel like your emotion plays into? I think it plays probably 50-50. I think your like mental, emotional, spiritual state all come into alignment in, in that. But I really have learned that I sometimes can be, like when the book came out, I had to travel and this and that, and I was feeling really stressed. But I know that my diet, juicing a couple times a day and detoxing through coffee enemas, I'm sorry, 
I'm like, what? Did well, she that's the first. Yeah. <laughs> um, really help keep my body cleansed. So how are you feeling now? I mean, obviously, you, you're in recovery. How in living a non-toxic life? Mm-hmm. How am I feeling now? How do you feel? How, how do you I feel? haven't had a cold in five years. Wow. Not one cold. So I used to get sick like all the time, winter time, you know, <laughs> but no, yeah, I feel really good. And I, kind of what you were saying in the beginning of the show, um, when I was diagnosed with cancer, I was laying, which is ironic, on the golf course, looking up at the sky and saying to God, I said, I need to know if I'm going to get through this. I have a five-year-old little girl and if I don't know I'm going to be okay, then I don't know if I can make it. And I'm not getting up from here unless I hear something. And I laid there for 20 minutes and all of a sudden, it wasn't like the clouds parted, but very quietly I heard a voice say, you're going to make this, Juliet. Wow. And then I got back up and I ran because I was a runner. Um, but I think to fight the battle or all battles that we all fight in life, I think deep down inside you have to have this, this inner knowingness or inner power that says, I can do this or mm. I, I, can, I can make this manifest in my life. Um, and if you're, if you're not connected to some higher being or a higher energy in yourself, I think it's way harder to do almost anything. Yeah, completely, we completely agree. Completely agree. Yeah. yeah. Now that you're you're connected, there are things that you can share so we can be proactive about not getting cancer to yeah. avoid some of the toxins in the world. Where could people even begin? What are, you know, one or two things that people can do to really make that change in their life? Right. So, I would definitely say vegetables. Vegetables for me is like huge. Um, they they of course they have to be organic. You don't want to add any more toxins into your life, so organic Eat tons of vegetables, good, local, organic. That is like number one. And juicing, one of the problems is, is back in actually 1960, an apple was 50% more nutritious than an apple today. Wow. So that's the purpose of juicing because you can get more nutrition in the body. Our bodies weren't meant to function with all the stress that we have today and to go, 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 and the food source and everything is just so depleted. So if you juice or you blend, you're getting, your body's getting tons more of nutrition. So that would be like the first thing that I would say. Um, and then I would say, check your, your prescription drugs. There's a lot of Americans that are on prescription drugs that don't know that they're damaging the liver. And the liver is the filtering house of the body. And they always say, toxic body, you get sick. Toxic liver, you get cancer. Mm. And that is the, the big organ. So that's like, make sure that you're not damaging that. I was taking, um, during the time of the divorce, I was taking four Tylenol to sleep at night. Wow. Yeah. And I had no idea it was damaging my liver. Mm. So true. Well, we're total advocates so of this. Helpful. So excited about your work. Yeah. And uh, where can people find you? At Pure Girl in a Toxic World um, on Instagram or Pure Girl on Instagram. I love it. Yeah, it's so sure important. To read this book, Cancer, we've got this. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more Good Morning La La Land.